Welcome you all to part 3 of semiconductors. In this section, we will be studying about PN junction. Semiconductors are classified into two types intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductors again classified into two types P type and N type. If you take the P type semiconductor and N type semiconductor, if we combine, what happens? That will be the session of today. In this section, we will be studying about PN junction. PN junction is a junction between P type semiconductor and N type semiconductors. So when they combine, what happens? Let us understand here. Right? During the formation of PN junction, there are two important processes which takes place. One is diffusion and another one is drift. Right? So diffusion is the motion of charges due to difference in concentration. Right? If there are more electrons here, if there are less electrons here, electrons tend to move from high concentration to low concentration. This kind of motion is called as diffusion. Right? So that happens. And the second one is about uh, drift here. Right? So due to, if there is a positive potential here, if there is an electron here, electrons move. The motion of electron due to electric field, that is called as drift. Okay? These two processes takes place in this PN junction. Okay? See, motion of charge carriers due to difference in concentration is called as diffusion due to electric field is called as drift okay how does how does it happen so let us check it out now okay that we will be studying under the already formation of a pn junction okay let us understand this is a p type semiconductor in this p type semiconductor you can see here holes are majority charge carriers and electrons are minority charge carriers and in n type electrons are majority charge carriers and holes are minority charge carriers okay we are combining both okay when these combine Right. So what happens? Here electrons are more, here electrons are less. Electrons begin to move from N side to P side. So it moves due to difference in concentration. That's why I'll be calling it as electron diffusion. Right. Here holes are more, here holes are less. Holes move from P side to N side. I will be calling it as hole diffusion. Right. Okay. See here. When N type and P type semiconductors combine, electron diffuse from N to P side and holes diffuse from P to N side. Okay. First diffusion happens. What next name? Right. When electrons move from N side to P side, when electrons move from N side to P side, they leave behind positive immobile charges. Right. Just think it over. There is an electron here. Electron leaves. Uh, from that position it will become an ion that is positive immobile ion right in a similar manner when electrons move from n side to p side they leave behind positive immobile charges in the similar manner when holes move from p side to n side they leave behind negative immobile charges okay at the junction we have some positive immobile charges because of the diffusion of electron and the negative immobile charges due to diffusion of holes okay then what now? Okay, there is a region created at the junction, and that region is called as depletion region. The region, right? Region on either side of the PN junction where you are not having any mobile charges, which are depleted of charge mobile charge carriers. So that region is called as depletion region. There is a word for depletion that we will be using in day-to-day -day life. If there are certain uh, family in which they, they do not have any government jobs, we can say that these families are depleted from government jobs. Means they are not having any members of the family are not working in government services. In the similar van, there is a region between the PN junction in which there are no mobile charges. Means there will be no movement of charges. They are fixed here. They are immobile. This kind of region is called as depletion region. Right? What happens when depletion region is created? This is positive side and there is negative side. The potential difference is created here and that potential difference is called as a barrier potential right okay so when what happens when the barrier potent when a depletion region is created right so when it is plus and it is minus there is an electric field plus and minus and due to electric field what happens just think it over this is a p side p side holes are there holes will not move because it is positive side it will attract the uh, negative uh, charges here, right? Okay. What are the minority charge carriers? Electrons. The electrons begins to move. Here, the electrons are the three electrons. What you see here, the electrons begins to move from P to N side, and the holes begins to move from N to P side. And this kind of motion is due to electric field created. That's why let me use the word called the drift. Electron drift from P to N side, holes drift from N to P sides. So uh, this happens, and at equilibrium, the current through the junction will become zero. This this current and this current that will be uh, equal here at um, at equilibrium net current to junction is zero and that is how the pn junction is formed 
right so let us understand there is a p side and there is side when we combine this first diffusion takes place due to change in concentration and a uh, depletion region is created and electric field is created when the electric field is created the uh, minority charge carriers begins to move that is called as drift now here right so diffusion of majority charge carriers takes place later on drift of minority charge carriers takes place that is how the pn junction is formed up the pn junction which is formed here the depletion region which is formed here it has a, a barrier potential and it is different for different elements for germanium the barrier potential is 0.2 volts and for silicon the barrier potential potential uh, difference what we call that is 0.7 Oats. and this is how the pn junction is formed